immigration problem. We are not alone in facing these challenges, and it is precisely because it is precisely because that across Europe the numbers escalating to the extent they are, we have brought forward new plans because we are determined. Mr. Speaker, to ensure that this remains a compassionate and generous country, that that is done fairly and legally. That's why we will break the criminal gangs, Mr. Speaker. We've announced new agreements with Albania and France, tougher, tougher immigration enforcement, and now new legislation that makes it clear that if you come here illegally, you will be detained and swiftly removed. But, Mr. Speaker, what we haven't heard is the Honourable Gentleman's plan. We know what it is it's open door immigration and unlimited asylum. Whilst he may be on the side of the people smugglers, we are on the side of the British people. Mr Speaker, if he was serious about stopping... Rishi Sunak reported overall migration numbers of 606,000 are too high, he said, as pressure mounts on the Prime Minister. The statistics are lesser than some forecasters projected, with some dreading figures could rise up to 800,000. Total migration rose by a whooping 606,000 in the year to December 2022 amidst turbulence on this administration to minimize growing migration and steady influx of foreigners. This is a surge on the preceding year when net migration was 504,000, but lesser than dreaded by a fraction in the current administration during intelligences it could rise up to 800,000, while study by the Center for Policy Studies advocated the number could approximate to a million. Net migration has risen in contemporary years from approximately 270,000 in 2019, due to recurring government initiatives to curb general figures. Reacting to the numbers, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak told the media that records were too high but reiterated that the government has to be, and he used the word, sensitive to the requirements of the National Health Service and the economy over labour deficiencies. Is often at play too. We need to do more to cooperate across borders and across jurisdictions to end illegal migration and stop the boats. The Council already plays a vital role, but I urge leaders to consider how we can go further, because we know what we can achieve together. And this is a Prime Minister in trouble at home. Rishi Sunak has been weakened by a dire set of local election results. He wants to use this as an opportunity on the world stage to send a message yes. that he is tough on immigration Residents back home. He knows he is facing pressure from the right of his party. Do you think you can actually achieve something with European leaders today, or is this just rhetoric for domestic consumption? Well, well actually, the, the UK has a long track record of leading and being at the heart of these conversations. On camera, the meetings were friendly. It was lovely to see the coronation. Off camera, the Prime Minister met with the President of the European Court of Human Rights. He urged reform to stop interventions like this one. The Rwanda flight controversially grounded last year by a European judge. But it's not clear there's any willingness for change elsewhere in Europe. Asylum is part of uh, our principles and our DNA. And we want to be more efficient to fight against... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.